Hello and welcome to Using BI Tools with MarkLogic from MarkLogic University. In this episode, we'll talk about using Tableau with MarkLogic. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need MarkLogic installed, access to Tableau, and some data to work with. In this video, you will learn the basics about accessing data from MarkLogic using Tableau. MarkLogic is great for doing data consolidation, bringing all sorts of data from a variety of silos and sources, and putting it all under one roof, organized and managed in a highly secure environment. It's only natural that I now want to access that data to help drive my business. Whether I am an analyst or an executive, I want to be able to ask or answer questions about my data in different ways. BI tools are a common way for enterprises to analyze their data. With BI, such as Tableau, there are different ways of connecting based on your use case or business needs. If you need the ability to run live queries against the database, such as what is my financial exposure right now, then ODBC will probably be the choice for you. The advantage of live is everything you see in your BI tool is up to date. On the other hand, your queries are hitting your production system and they're running at the speed of your database. How you select is going to be driven by your current IT setup and your use cases. What if you want to get a huge amount of data, but it doesn't need to be live, such as annual sales results? Data Extract is probably your best choice. This allows you to programmatically batch and convert data, any data, to an optimized format. Using code like Java, you can certainly call SQL to get the data that you want, but you don't need to. It could be a call to REST or some server-side code that extracts data from MarkLogic. With the Web Data Connector, you write a front end using code that accepts parameters from a user, pulls data from the database via a REST endpoint, and then writes the results to an extract file. The advantage of the Web Data Connector is that you are not restricted to using SQL or ODBC. If you decide that an ODBC connection is right for you, then you will need a SQL view over your MarkLogic NoSQL data. One feature of MarkLogic that can help out is Template Driven Extraction, or TDE. It's very straightforward. First, identify the parts of your document data that you want to expose as SQL views. Next, write a template that specifies what that view looks like. A template is a document that declares how a view is to be populated. It defines a context, the root path, of all the documents that are involved in this view. Then for each column in the view, it defines a column name, type, and a path to the data inside the document. With TDE, we are able to consolidate or manipulate data without changing the underlying documents. It also means we can use one source or more sources to generate multiple views. As a little background for this example, I already have my database created and filled. My database is called Storm Data, and this database is being used by an ODBC app server running on port 5432. That port number needs to line up with the DSN settings on your Tableau machine. For sample data, I went to data.gov and found a listing of storm events which I loaded using MLCP. I liked that it had geospatial in addition to generic data. For our purposes, most any geospatial data will do. I'm using a template to define my SQL view. The schema name is going to define what the outside world sees as the database name, and the view name will be the table. In this template, I am creating columns for the location, size of the storm given as range, the location as latitude and longitude, plus the year and month of the event. Notice that for the year and month, I am actually using the result of a substring call. This does not change the underlying data, and anytime the source document changes, my SQL view will be updated. 
Templates should be validated and then inserted using the appropriate TDE calls. To learn more about this, please see our list of courses and videos available from MarkLogic University. Let's run a quick test of the SQL view. Query Console does have a timeout in place for safety in case of huge datasets, but it is a good habit to always use a limit when testing. As you can see, we are getting a table returned, including the year and month split appropriately. We are going to start with a connection. For our demonstration, I want to show you how you can pre-filter your SQL data instead of working from everything you may have in your database. To do so, we will use the Other Databases connection. If it isn't in the list on the left already, it may be under the More menu. Best practice for production would be to generate a DSN specifically for the project. For this demo, I'll use the default settings for the MarkLogic SQL driver. Either way, realize that the MarkLogic SQL driver is required and needs to be installed. Using the details from my template and knowledge of my environment, I fill in the details. You can see the attributes have been filled in. We're going to specify what we want to work from by supplying a custom SQL call. We are going to use just the details from the events table. Let's see the results by clicking the Update Now button. Looks good. Tableau is accessing our data from MarkLogic. Now we can make use of the data. Notice that the latitude and longitude have a different icon next to them in the measures list. Tableau has already realized that these are location data. We'll drag the longitude to the columns list and latitude to the rows list. Tableau automatically sets the display to be a map, but it only has one location. We need to change the latitude and longitude from averages to dimensions. To make things a little clearer, I'm going to shrink the size to the minimum and then zoom in on the continental US. From here, I could perform more analysis or further leverage Tableau to create my business application. For example, let's say I'm looking at a different batch of similar data. With the steps we previously performed, aside from changing the size, I can tell visually where the highest density of weather events were. But I don't see any differentiation from one event to another. To see that, I could dynamically change the size. In the measures list, the range denotes the size of the weather event, so I will drag that to the size control in the marks panel.
To make things pop even more, we can also use the range to denote color. That looks much better. Notice this is using multiple colors. There are actually many different palettes available. I'm using the red, green, gold diverging palette. With these changes, we can now pick out with a glance not only where the highest concentrations are, but also see where the largest events occur. You can learn more about MarkLogic at docs.marklogic.com. Information specifically for Tableau is in the SQL Data Modeling Guide. In this episode, you learn the basics about accessing data from MarkLogic using Tableau. To get MarkLogic, download it from developer.marklogic.com. Get more training by visiting marklogic.com training. Also, a complete selection of on-demand topics is available at mlu.marklogic.com slash on-demand. Or download the MarkLogic mobile app available on both the Apple App Store and Google Play. And don't forget to show off what you've learned. Add MarkLogic as a skill on your LinkedIn profile today. Thank you for watching this MarkLogic University on-demand tutorial.